The life of a student at A.Y. Jackson Secondary School has never been easy. Matter of fact, I would count myself lucky. This time around, I've got three bird courses and then the main event. Things are looking good for me. I'm quite good at chess. My grades are doing fine. And I've got plenty of friends like, um, uh, let's come back to that one later. For breakfast that day, I settled on a nice bowl of cereal with a side of Philippe Ferraud Domaine du Clos Nadine Vouvray Moyot Goudot 1990. After breakfast, I decided to pass the time with the 007 movie. You know, the ones with James Bond. It was a good time. I had some snacks while I was at it too. But then I decided to put on the second 007 movie and for some reason I couldn't explain. It simply didn't work. Of course, I was slightly disappointed by this turn of events. It's not fair. I tried some other things to pass the time like botany, and the culinary arts, and multitasking. But considering the circumstances, it was simply lacking the usual magic. Why can't you do something interesting? I even went so far as to briefly consider going outside. It was then that I decided that I was going to watch this movie no matter what it took. Apparently, scientists recommend drinking 8 glasses of water every day. My liver started working again after I tried this, but it didn't help me watch the movie, so really it was just a waste of time. And supposedly you gain knowledge by reading. I figured reading might enlighten me with the knowledge on how to watch this movie, but for some reason that didn't really work. I thought a bit of exercise might help, because for some crazy reason everybody keeps telling me that I'm in dire need of it. I don't really think I benefited much. In a desperate last-ditch effort at this point, I began writing a letter to the movie company, politely asking them to resolve this issue in whichever way they could. Once I had completed my letter and entrusted it to the care of the postal service, I waited at my mailbox for 10 whole seconds, and the company didn't even bother to reply. This was, of course, flagrantly anti-consumer behavior and probably against several antitrust laws, but there was nothing I could personally do about it. Truly, there is no justice in this base, foul, baneful, calamitous, depraved, execrable, and, uh, flagitious world. Truthfully, I was beginning to lose hope. I decided to console myself with a slice of cheap, store-bought apple pie. Though after finishing the slice, I went to check one last time if I could watch the second James Bond movie. And all of a sudden, defying any rational explanation, the movie worked. I suppose that just goes to show that you can't have a double bond without pie.